All right. I got a question for the Indian audience. Why is there so many instances in movie trailers or movies in general from India, these action films, where someone just has a foot to their face? <laughs> Why is it? It's so often. Someone's getting stepped on. I just see it a lot. <laughs> you, have you noticed? Disrespect. I, well, I, that, that's how that's how I take it. Is like it's just like the ultimate disrespect, like a foot to the face, <laughs> mashing your face into the ground with my foot, bitch. You can get all these toes <laughs> in your mouth. Exactly. <laughs> Anywho, Betty Boo, let's get into this. All right, hello, people. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Sintel Kawai. Yo, what's cracking, baby? So we're looking at the Shezada trailer starring Kartik. Aryan and Kriti Sanon. And I believe it is, uh, let's see, it's directed by Rohit Dhawan. It is also starring Manisha Koirala, Paresh Rawal, Ronit Roy, Sachin Kedgar, and yes, that's, there we go. It comes up February 10th. Oh. Hello. discussion <laughs> Action. Yo, are you? I, I, wa you're watching this through Discord. Are you able to keep up with it? Oh, I mean, all I see is bodies. bodies okay, okay, I'm just making sure because I don't know. I don't know if there's like some kind of like delay or glitch. I'm making sure because this shit's looking dope. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like that, I love that. That's cool. How the camera's just following that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the hens are fed up. <laughs> God damn. Oh, that's bad funny to me. Educated, talented, disciplined, cute, kada, tota, patola, lambe tango wali. Lats pe achhi padti inse. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For you, I wow. danced my other girlfriend. Wow. <laughs> खत्म what the hell? <laughs> Yo, that man is extra happy. We love. Ha, ha, ha. Oh <laughs> Whoa! Damn! I am owner of this building, this garden, and you. Suit pen ke English bolne ka maza hi kuch aur hai. Dogger out. <laughs> I'm gonna say something crazy. Y'all don't don't you know come down on me too hard. But there are instances where when I'm listening to Kartik Aryan talk, he sounds like uh, Akshay Kumar to me. I don't know why. It's like I, I hear his voice and the way he talks and everything. I'm like, oh wow, it sounds like. If I closed my eyes, I would have thought Akshay Kumar was talking. Uh. Y'all tell me if I'm crazy. I might be crazy. But anyway, Shazada might look a little familiar to you because it is a remake of Alu Vaika 
Kunta Purimalu. I'm, I'm sure I've said it wrong. I, I know. Well, you and I watched it together. There's a, a series. If you guys are interested in seeing our reaction to it, it's already on the channel. You can watch it broke up into parts or you can watch the whole thing uncut, uninterrupted on patreon.com slash jabbykway or by becoming a member of this YouTube channel, but you will need your own copy of the film. Anyway, that's why it might look familiar to you because it's a remake of that. But as you pointed out, like rightly, it's like this looks like a lot of fun. To me, it's a more amped up version of Alu Vaikanthu Purumalu. God damn it. It's so hard to say. <laughs> Good to me. Um, but yeah, so like to me, it's a little bit more colorful. It's a little bit more vibrant. Whatever they did in that, in Alu, <laughs> whatever they did in that, it feels like they're, they're taking it even further here, which seems kind of crazy to think about because I was already like pretty insane and explosive. If you're hard, having a hard time remembering the story, basically at the beginning of the movie, this father saw that um, his boss's son, like the baby died or something like that. So he gave his baby up to be the boss's baby. Then he found out that the boss's baby was actually okay and woke up. So then he took that baby. It was something like that. There was some kind of mix up like that. And I remember you had like this weird reaction at the beginning. You're like, whoa, this is too much. But then it turned out it was a comedy and an action and all that stuff. Um, right. A lot of swag, yeah. a lot of very swaggy movie. Yeah, that's what this is. Like he got switched at, at birth. That's why he's like actually heir to the throne. If I recall correctly in that movie, Alu Arjun doesn't actually say that he's the actual heir until like late in the movie. It's been a minute since I've watched it, so I can't fully remember all the details, but I'm pretty sure that's what happens in the film. Yeah, I mean, you know, his destiny was kind of just like inherently in him, right? For the most yeah. part. But I think, he you know, came from, uh, came from something and it was just in him. He could, you couldn't deny his uh, his stars, I guess that's the way it is. Yeah, it was already well, his destiny. Determined yeah. to be successful. Yeah. Well, but I think that you, you kind of just like inspired a thought in my head, which is pressure makes diamonds. And so by him having been switched at birth, it actually paved a road for him that was that made his character more interesting and more developed, more well-rounded as, as a person. At the end of the movie, the trickster father gets his actual son back, who is a spoiled brat that was raised in a very rich household. I don't know if you remember that. But anyway. I do remember that. Yeah. It was a fun movie. And so to, yeah. to, to revisit it through the eyes of Bollywood filmmaker, for me, is it seems, it seems like a good time. It seems like a lot of fun. I, I like Hart Garyan and Kriti Sanon. Any thoughts that you had about the trailer? I like the colorfulness of it. I mean, I don't... I, I know these cameras keep getting upgraded over and over and over again and you're just seeing just the, the the vibrance of and how vivid it really is between the mix of just you know the the seemingly always spot on action you know uh the humor and the way that it looks it looks like it's going to be a positive upgrade from the original potentially potentially, potentially. we haven't yeah. seen it so we don't really know you're like i, I don't but, i'm not you know. i'm not trying to speak blasphemous here i'm just saying what i'm yeah. saying I, yeah yeah i'm just an outsider don't don't take it so seriously <laughs> <laughs> Because you know how people can be purists. They're like, no, nothing beats the original. Nothing beats the original. <laughs> um, for this director, though, this is kind of cool. For this director, it's his it's his directorial debut. It's his first movie. Oh, well, that's a that's a good bet. You uh, bet on something that's already been successful. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I take that back. He did Dishoom and Desi Boys. Daisy Boys. So it's his first movie in several years, though. In 2011, he did Daisy Boys. 2016, he did Dishoom. 2023 is Shazada. Man, hopefully that means it's good. <laughs> Rohit Dewan. Rohit Dewan, okay. yeah. You know, hit the easy button. You know, get that easy success. I'm not mad at it. What do you think of the action? It looks fun. You know, I'm always a fan of bodies flying everywhere, and <laughs> there is no shortage of that. <laughs> That's a very strange word. It was what the, uh, it, it's one of the things that I really enjoy regarding uh, action sequences in Indian cinema. The daringness and the audacity to just flip random people. <laughs> it's it, it's always some brand new way, and then and then doing it in a way of main uh, of the character character maintaining his coolness during a while while the the poor sucker that he's just thrashed is hurling through the sky. Mm -hmm. I, I love that. It, yeah. That part never gets old to me. For me, the action looks cool. Obviously, like, I need to see it in its full context to, you know, fully determine how I'm feeling about it. And, you know, I gotta watch the movie, but so far, it looks cool. It looks fun. The slow-mo, the, the the ramping and all that stuff. Kartik Aryan feels like, it feels like he's really, really, like, leaning into this role and just having a good time with being that dude who yeah. is, um, full of swag. I like the, the, the emphasis of wealth a little, seemingly a little bit more in this. You know, it's new age wealth. The Rolls Royce and the way the houses look and driving around your small little car inside of the mansion, you know. So th those little upgrades go, go a long way because, you know, you can flex just a little bit harder on just how good you got it. Yeah, I guess that's the mark of wealth is if you need a car to get around your house. 
<laughs> to travel through the wings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the East Wing. <laughs> Y'all, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, let us know your feelings in the comments below. How are you feeling? Especially if you watched the original, we'd love to know how you feel like this stacks up against that. Thank you again. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications. Vote this up. Again, if you want to watch Alu Vaikuntu Purumalu with Sintel and myself, make sure that you're uh, a member of this channel or a member on our Patreon page, but you will need your own copy of the film to watch it along with us. I'm Jabby Koei. This is... Hey, it's your boy Sintel. Peace out.